Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin hasn't really moved much since the last update, so it's only going to be a quick intraday update. Um, the market is currently testing here this trend line that I added to the chart. I've actually only added it as a dotted line. I'll make it a solid line for the purpose of this video. So we have a bit of a bit of a trend line there that the price is currently fighting with. Um, we now have a small reaction. Maybe we see a little bit more upside from here because the trend line isn't broken yet, even though we had a, you know, let's call it a fake out to the downside. So it might not be the most relevant trend line, but still one, two, three touch points, whatever this is, it was a fake out to the downside. We'll see what happens. Okay. But there is a trend line that the market tested. Um, zooming out a little bit overall. Yes, we've seen a rally into the well swing high yesterday to get to that resistance area that we discussed which is unchanged and still defined between 62,800 and 61,400 um, and yeah the, the bulls need to drive the price above this range an absolute key level that we want to talk about again is this last high that formed yesterday at 61,900 it also formed exactly at this point on the 14th of August and before here at uh, that was on the on the 11th of August. So three th three swing highs that mark an additional you could say special level within that resistance area. But ultimately the entire range is important and the entire range needs to be broken. That would be good. So if, if we take out however yesterday's swing high, yeah, that will give the third wave as per the white scenario, I think a really good chance of extending further here to the upside. But bear in mind that we need all five waves essentially for a confirmation that a larger wave four bottomed here on the 5th of August. That's important. Yeah? So we need all those five waves. And at the moment, we're just sort of stuck here in yeah, not very convincing sideways price action. So zoomed out, you see not much happened since yesterday. We had a rejection from resistance, small recovery, lower high, higher low testing the trend line but not much happened so the price is just consolidating again and overall yes we've seen a rally yes there was a little bit of excitement uh, across the crypto sector you know like a couple of weeks everybody was bearish yesterday it was funny to see on crypto twitter everybody get, getting bullish um, talking about upside breakouts and and so on but yeah i mean of course the bulls have a chance all I'm saying is the upside so far is very unconvincing. Yes, we had a rally, but we had several rallies in this range here and they didn't really lead anywhere. So that's, again, um, very consistent with previous updates. We need to see a break above this upper range boundary area, you know, this range to really um, get further confirmation that a third wave is unfolding, which should send us next to 66,880 or higher. That's the first ideal target for a larger degree third wave. Can always go higher. And I think, you know, there, there's a really good chance of extending higher once we get a break above this swing high that formed yesterday at 61,900. Also pay attention to these dotted trend lines here, the red one, which obviously is nearly where yesterday's high is located, but it could just act as additional resistance. And zooming in a little bit further, you can see that we had this reaction to the trend line, but it's not very convincing because we had a break. So it indicates weakness. It's just um, very, very choppy, this price action. I've avoided to add more micro counts to them to, the, to this chart because they are all corrective. All I could say, maybe, you know, maybe this is an A wave up. Um, B wave might have bottomed, but then what is this? You know, not very convincing. So. The micro counting won't help us. Additional micro counting won't provide more clarity here. What really is important is that the bulls drive the price above yesterday's high. On the flip side, if we lose that trend line here, you could say, okay, the trend line might not be that relevant because we broke it briefly. We can always adjust it slightly. It's more about that swing low that formed here at around 60,400. If we lose that level, then it could send us down to the next support area again, where the price found support a few days ago. Yeah, um, obviously 
This is just because we had a couple of swing lows here, but it's still a relevant area. So between 59K and 58,855. Below that level, we have this support area, which I'm going to adjust slightly as well. We just shift it slightly to the right here because it's still relevant between 57.9 and 58.1K yeah, pretty much. Yeah? So there are all relevant, uh, these are all relevant support levels that we still have available. And again, you know, my, my commentary from well, previous updates over the last few days still stands. As long as we don't see a sustained break above the price range, expect further sideways price action. We haven't got a confirmed breakout. Yep, we tried it again, but I think there is, there's a massive sell wall here. Lots of sellers try to get rid of their BTC in the low 60K area. That's what provides resistance up here. So we have to be patient. I think the levels are clear. At the moment, I mean, in the very short term, we have a green candle there, but obviously that's not enough to say that we've bottomed there locally. Next step for the bulls is to take the price above 61,430, the previous swing highs, and then above the high from yesterday. That's the update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.